And we can do that where they couldn't do it in World War I. No, no. Right. I'm going to back up so my, I'm six feet away. That's pretty good. That's more than six feet. Okay. Can you tell me what your, or give me your full name? Tell me what? What's your full name? Oh, well, it's here now. Like Mary, what's your first and last name? Goodwin. Well, it, my name's Goodwin. Okay. And I was married to Captain Goodwin. Okay. In the field artillery. What was your maiden name before you got married? Herman. Herman? Yes, and it's E A R M A N. And why it's like that, I don't know. It should be E H R, but it's not. Okay. Oh. Where and when were you born? I was born in the state of Virginia. Oh. And it was Harrisonburg, Virginia. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, what age are you right now? Well, I was 100 February 1st. Oh. So that's about four months past. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost 100 and a half. Yes, yeah, nice. there you go. Uh, what was your full rank and what part of the armed services were you in? I was the Army Nurse Corps. And what was your rank? First, first to second lieutenant, then I made first lieutenant. Oh, nice. And um, can you tell me again what, what the military unit was that you were part of? Pardon? What was the military unit that you were a part of? Like the nursing corps or? Isn't that awful? That's okay. 106 General, 106 General Hospital. Okay, that's good to know. What was your role in that unit? Well, I was an army nurse and uh, some of it's not too exciting for you. That's okay. They found out I could run the autoclaves. And autoclaves is what sterilizes everything. And they didn't know who had, what they were going to do. And they found out I had. So I, I ran not autoclaves for part of the time. And that was to sterilize everything. They didn't have anybody to do that. But I was uh, in the infantry, take care of the infantry. Okay. Uh, I was a. I, I made. I went in as second lieutenant, and I, then I made first lieutenant, and I was I was not as exciting as some of the nurses. I I helped with the wounded, the wounded, but I also knew how to run the autoclave. I knew, and they didn't have anybody to do that. And when they found out that I could run the autoclaves, our hospital told us you can't have a hospital without having sterile things because you and so we all had had to have that kind of training so when they found out I had that kind of training they were real excited because they didn't have many nurses who could run an autoclave so I could run autoclaves and I did a lot of sterilizing but I also worked on, on the wards and especially in I duty I worked Night yeah. duty. But I worked day days too. Yeah. But I had it. I had to help. I did a lot of the sterilizing with the sure. hospital. Well, that yeah. Like a really and you've got to have sterile good. Yeah. You can't put dirty, uh, not dirty, but things that are not sterile on wounded well, soldiers. Well, that's a really yeah. important job. Important job. It was, yeah. well, you can't have a hospital with a oh. hamster, all good. And nobody knew how to do it, and they found out I did. So I did a lot of that, but I worked on the wards, too. Can you tell me about what you remember about the town or area where you grew up as a child? About the town? The town where you grew up when you were a child. The town? The town, the city. Oh, yeah. That was... Uh, well, the little town was Mount Clinton, but the bigger town was just five miles. That was Harrisonburg, Virginia. 
That's in Shenandoah Valley, beautiful place. In the Shenandoah Valley. And did you live in the country or in town? Well, I lived in the country with my grandparents. Okay. My parents were divorced, and so I lived with my grandparents until I was almost 15. And it was a small town, Mount Clinton. Yeah. But, but they had a nice school because the, uh, all the schools went together, you know. And, uh, and that, that was in Mount Clinton, too. Okay. Yeah. But my mother was very successful, and I went, joined her when I was 14. So I graduated from Harrisonburg, Virginia. Okay. And that's in the Shenandoah Valley in a beautiful, beautiful yeah. place. What What were your parents' names? Well, my parents were divorced. Yeah. So my mother was Pauline Klein. Klein, C-L-I-N-E. And my dad, I never, they were divorced when I was about five months old. I think oh, okay. that when they saw me, they gave up. <laughs> What, what did your mother do for work? Well, she was very successful. She, uh, she, she took a music. Uh, she became a beauty beauty operator, and and she by the time she died, she had three beauty shops and a beauty school, and she was very successful in that, and. She and, but she and my dad were divorced when I was a baby. <laughs> okay. So I never knew him as well as I would have liked to. Right. Did, um, so your mom had, she did hair and nails and all that kind of Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was a beautician. But then she beautician. became so successful that she ran everything. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Do you have, did you have any siblings? No. You, only child? Or? Only child because I got a divorce. Okay, sure, that makes sense. Um, do you have any fond memories from your childhood? Yes, I was brought up by my grandparents, and they were delightful people. Just wonderful people. And uh, I lived with them until I was 14. And that's your... That was... 14 years is a lot part of your growing up, you know. Yeah. Then I went with my mother, she was quite sick. Yeah. But I, I lived in Mount Clinton. Okay. For the first 14 years. Huh. What, were your, what were your grandparents' names? Klein, C-L-I-N-E. Okay. Um. Do you remember any of the names of your childhood friends? Oh, I had a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mount Clinton was a small little town. And uh, so the school was right in there, and we got, we got lots of friends. Yeah. And they had a lot of cricks and so on that we could swim in. But then the leeches would get on us. Oh, yeah. And, and can you imagine, Paul, they're slippery. You can't, they get between your toes. And you couldn't pull them out because you couldn't have a, enough leverage. We had to pull them off. They got between the toes, between. Your friends had to pull them off oh. me. And I had to pull them off. And they're slippery. And now it makes me almost gag. <laughs> but boy, we had more leeches. <laughs> <laughs> and then, when we were real little, the, the older kids would tell us wild tales like, boy, they'll get into your body and they'll, <laughs> they don't get into your body. No. They just suck the blood. <laughs> what other kind of uh, games do you remember playing or fun kind of things did you do as a kid besides the... What time did we play? Well, we played, uh, well, it wasn't baseball, it was... Just a ball that we'd bat around, you know, and play. We played like baseball. Yeah, we played that, and we played all kids tag and hide and seek, and and uh, and we swam. 
there was Virginia has a lot of creeks and so on, and uh, we swam a lot. Did a lot of swimming in the summertime. Yeah, I had a wonderful childhood. Yeah, my my, like my grandparents had raised their family, and long I came here, I came, and I think it, they were so good to me. My mother had a divorce, and she had to go to work. And they took care. Of, I was with him till I was fourteen. So you were born in nineteen twenty. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. February first. February first, twenty one. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It is twenty one. They always That's said. Good. They used to tell me when I was little, and that scared me. One day later, she'd have been a groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> February first, I was born, and boy, I didn't want to be a groundhog. <laughs> uh, All right. Mary, do you remember what it was like growing up during the Great Depression? I, what I was like you, growing up what? During the Great Depression? Well, I'll tell you, we had some gorgeous clothes because everybody handed me down, you know? <laughs> Nobody had any money. Sure. And I, I, rem I can remember some outfits that I'll tell you I hated to go to school with, but everybody else was in the same boat, yeah. you know? We had no money and and uh, clothes around. I had so many cousins. My mother came from a family of 12. And my, uh, well anyway, I, I just had a lot of clothes left to me and they were some doozies. <laughs> oh, I can remember one outfit that I hated to go to school with, with it on. <laughs> but we had, nobody had any money was, much. Was, yeah. it, was something you would, would take to the ball or something maybe? Huh? Was it nice, that something that you would take to the ball or to a dance maybe? A nice, nice dress that you got or? Oh, it was a dress. Dress, yeah. Yeah, we didn't wear slacks then. No. You know, we girls yeah. wore, wore dresses and, and they, they were some doozies, I want to tell you. And, and the reason they were so used is my I had so many cousins. They we all wore each other's clothes. Okay. You know, hand me downs. Nobody had much money. Yeah. But somehow you you made it through and your, your grandparents took care of you and Yeah, well they they were pretty well off. Were they? Okay. Yeah. And for that for that time. Yeah. Yeah. They had a lovely home and I had a wonderful childhood yes. because it was a small town and all of us got together and we swam and Virginia has a lot of creeks and those things and we called the leeches off each other but <laughs> can you imagine that now? Uh, nobody would do that, no. no. But they got between my toes, that's where they got them. Um, do you remember listening to FDR fireside chats on the radio? Yes. Yes. What was the name of those? The fireside chats. Yeah. Yeah. Fireside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I was remember that like? That. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that was like? Huh? What was that like? Oh, what? Well, it's on the radio, yeah. you know, and oh, everybody listening to the fireside chats. I forgot the name of that. Yeah. And uh, no, we all thought FDR, we called him that more than anything else, yeah. FDR. And, and uh, we just thought he was right from heaven, practically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody and gathered. he was a Democrat, you know. Yeah. yeah. Everybody gathered around the radios? Yeah, for his fireside. I forgot the name, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they gathered around the radio for to listen to the fireside chat, yeah. Do you remember listening to other radio programs during that time? You know, I was so young. Westerns or mystery, yeah. Oh, we listened to a lot of Westerns. We yeah. really liked the Westerns. Do you have any favorites that you can remember? 
What That's a long been? time ago. Would that have been Lone Ranger? I wish I could. Lone Ranger or yeah, well, it's not the wrong, yeah, it's no oh, Lone Ranger. Yeah. You remember? I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over about a hundred and four, a fourth. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I I can't remember as much as I wish I could. And which high school did you go to? Well, I graduated from Harrisonburg High School, Harrisonburg, and that's in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley. It's one of the prettiest parts of Virginia. Do you remember what year you graduated from high school? Yeah, I think it was 1996, and I skipped a couple of grades, and so I was younger. Yeah. And in those days, they should not have done that. But my aunt was my teacher, <laughs> oh. and I was a good student, and she said, I'm going to put her ahead. She, she can do that. I, I could do it. But, you know, when you're with kids two years older than you, you're a little shy. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And they were good to me. I don't mean that yeah. at, at all, but you don't push yourself forward as much. What kind of things did you do with your friends during high school? Well, we played basketball, just not professional. Yeah. We played basketball, we played baseball, we played, uh, well, like you do for anything. Hide and seek, and all, yeah. all that, all that you, that you do. I suppose you still do. I don't know. Yeah. I had a wonderful childhood. Yeah. Yes, I did, because my grandparents raised me. Because my mother was getting successful. Yeah. And uh, I was, I knew, always knew I was loved. Don't, but I was fine. Don't think I wasn't. <laughs> I, I was made to behave. I couldn't, I, I, I had to behave, but they weren't always with me either. Yeah. <laughs> no, I had a nice childhood. Yeah, that's really important. And my grandparents had so many children that had grown and had children. Oh, sure. And I had cousins everywhere. So you got to play with your cousins a yeah. lot, too. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's always fun. Yeah. Do well, I had a wonderful time. I'll never... We didn't have much money, but you but we weren't. I, I wouldn't say we were poor, right? But we didn't have much money. Me. Yeah. Do you but, have any particular teachers that you remember that you were fond of? Any what? School teachers. Oh, it's Your been favorite? so long ago. I, yeah. for, I forgot their name. Well, that's okay. I I know. Gone with the Wind was. I love that. I love that movie. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, I love that movie. Do you remember your first job or first couple of jobs that you ever had as a teenager? Well, I, I, we lived out in the country a little ways, and I did a lot of things with my parents. Had moving to my grandparents, yeah. my parents were divorced, and uh, I did a lot of chores for them. I would say, and I got money for that. And then. I worked for the ten cent store. Oh, <laughs> have what? you heard of the ten yeah. cent store? Yeah. What did you do there? Yeah. I, well, I a clerk. Clerk. Yeah. 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 I worked for that. Yeah. I don't know who I'm waving at, but that is my aunt Rita. Huh? That's my aunt Rita. Tricks. Oh. Oh. Okay <laughs> then. <laughs> um, what was your favorite music back then? Well, swing, swing music. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and who was good swing? Gun Gun Miller and Glenn Miller. Was, yeah, Eddie and we Glenn had Glenn. some good swing thing. Nice. And we danced to swing. We liked swing music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I listened to Glenn Miller on the way over here. Huh? I listened to Glenn Miller on the way here just to. Yeah. Get oh yeah, yeah, Glenn Miller. Uh huh. Uh, 
do you remember hearing about what was going on in Europe before? Oh before? yeah. Oh, the movie theaters. And that stuff? was in theaters in the ra radios. The radios had. Well, we would just listen to the radio. Everybody would, you yeah. know, what was going on. Yeah. And they they would show it during the movies in the intermissions of the movies and stuff oh, too. Oh yeah. We have, well, movies we loved. Yeah. That was our best entertainment. That because we didn't. We had radios, but we didn't have, uh, what do I want to say? Television? Oh, no, we didn't have you television, didn't no. Yeah. Radios, we listened, but that was mostly music. We, no, that isn't, I shouldn't say that, because I, I was too little to do that, but they'd have these, uh, oh, what, what, serials, you know. And they'd have chapters you listen to, oh, sure. and boy, the women would listen to those chapters. They were exciting, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But our only recreation, besides the recreation that we created, was uh, movies and television. No, I'm not television. The radio. Radio programs. Yeah. Yeah, and and boy, they listened to the ra radio a lot because they had serials. And you never have a chapter all the time, you know, you didn't want to miss anything. I was so little, uh, I, I listened to part of it, but not as much as the adults did. Do you remember any of the movies from when you were older, in high school? Gone with the Wind? Yeah. Oh, I, that was, uh, most, and they had westerns in, oh. you know, and I never cared much for westerns. But we'd go because we didn't have anything else yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah. Good plan. Yeah. yeah. And, but they had Gone with the Wind. They, uh, I can't remember. You know, this has been a long well, time ago. Yeah. I'm about 140 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, do you remember hearing about where you were when you heard about Pearl Harbor? Oh, yeah. where, where was that? No, I, I remember when I, I don't remember. <laughs> I can't tell you. Okay, but you remember hearing it, but probably on the radio and at, probably on the radio at home or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, th I think we heard it. But first, somebody said uh, we've we been hit. Oh. You know, and then, then you got on the radio and listened. That's what we had. And we listened all the time, and boy, they were excited, and uh, uh, we were, we're going to go to war, you know, and teenagers' excitement, you know. Yeah. A lot of people decided to sign up for the Army at that point. Well, uh, you well, know, it's been so long time ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I I know that the whole United States was, was excited. Yeah. You know, and they uh, all we had was the radio, and boy, we just listened to the radio all the time, and we were so angry with with, with uh, Japan and. Germany, you know, it, we, uh, yeah. yeah, boy, we were good at gun hole, you know, <laughs> but say, our army did, it. I was an army nurse for three years, and our army did a good job. Oh, yeah. Uh, they did, they, and, they, and, they, and they got together and got it fast, because they hit us, you know, at Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Oh, I remember that, everybody was so angry. And and excited, you can't help but be excited, you know. Right. Not knowing how horrible it's going to be, but we were excited about war, war and boy, you know. Mm -hmm. Later on, but I was an army nurse for three years. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you, I was proud of our army. Right. Now perfect, we weren't. Nobody's perfect, you know. But. Yeah. I was proud of them. What did you do between graduating from high school 
and when you entered the army, what did you do in that time? Well, I started college, and uh, I got into a class with nurses, pre-nursing, pre-nursing, and I that sounds kind of exciting, you know. And so I decided, well, I'll become a nurse. So I had to go more years in college if I took it. But if I went into nursing school, I could become a registered nurse in three years. So I decided I was going to go into nursing school. And I never regretted it because we had three years, and, and I was an Army nurse for three years, too. And I, I served overseas, and uh, I was glad. I, I was glad for those years, and I saw a lot of a, a lot of horrible things, but I saw a lot of nice things. Things that happened that men rose above themselves. They did. And uh, I married one of them. He was a captain in the field artillery, but we didn't get married till the war was over. Sure. But I, I dated him overseas. Yeah. But they, they, we had good equipment. Uh, I don't know. My nursing years overseas was. Much more exciting and so on in the States, you know. We saw sights we never seen in the States. Oh, sure. and, and I met a very nice man. <laughs> I had a little German soldier that I swear he wasn't but fifteen. And I went on duty the morning one morning and they and he had been captured and he, he'd been injured and so I was his nurse and I went on and I looked at him and he was so young and so scared and we were not supposed to talk to him. We did not mistreat him. We don't do that. But we, they are our enemy. We, we're not friends with him. Well, he was so scared and not. So I just winked at him, <laughs> and he gave me that. I'll never forgive that. Forget that for as long as I live. He was so scared, and all of a sudden he gave me a smile. He knew I didn't hate him. Yeah. He was fighting for his country, yeah. and I was for mine. Yeah. And and he, and I think if he'd have been brusque and something, I'd have been different. But he was. So young and so scared when I came on. They captured him that night, see. Oh. And I'd come on that morning, and boy, he was so scared. And I, I looked at him for a little while, and then I winked at him and smiled. <laughs> and he just relaxed. Oh, nice. And you know, they would have gotten after me. Yeah. But I didn't feel bad at all. He was so young and so scared. And, uh, I only had him two nights, and he was transferred to another. Thing. But I'll never, I'll never forget him as long as I live. He was so scared, and when I did that, he gave me the nicest smile. He that, relaxed. That he, was very kind of you. That was nice. Kind, you're that's kind. what I thought. Yep. But they wouldn't have liked it. Mm. They would have got after well, you. Well, you can't smile at your enemy. Mm. <laughs> but I did. But he was. He was so young. Yeah. He was so scared. He was somebody's kid, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, did you enlist uh, in the Army? You weren't drafted. You, you enlisted? I enlisted. Yeah. And Nurses weren't drafted. They were... Okay. Not, uh, and were, were you... Auto, did the other branches have nurses, or was it automatically the Army for you as a nurse? I was automatically in there. In army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's where they really needed them. Yeah. Okay. Um. The navy would take. They they would be navy nurses, you know. Oh, okay. Army was army nurses, and so on.
I suppose they were on ships and stuff for the Navy. Huh? They were the Navy. Yeah, were I would on, I would think so. Yeah. I I really didn't have that much to, to do with the Navy because we were Army and we thought we were better. Yeah, they still, <laughs> they're like that still. Oh, don't put that in there. <laughs> I won't tell anybody. Um, did other, did your friends, were they in nursing too? Did they sign yeah. up when you signed up? Or? No. I signed up alone, oh. but I made the nicest friends, and they they were excellent women. Nice. Uh, well, we weren't women. We, were, we weren't girls, I don't know. We were, a lot of us were in 19, 20, so on, you know. They, yeah. I was in for my 20, about 24, somewhere in there. I was there three years. Yeah. What, um, where did you receive your training for the Army? Well, I was inducted in somewhere around Washington, D.C. I can't remember okay. the forts anymore. In, in Virginia, maybe. It's somewhere in the area. That's where I was from. Okay. Was it? I think it was Fort Meade, Maryland, I think it okay. was. Now, uh, looking back, for, I think it was Fort Meade, Maryland is where I got my tr See, Army training. You're remembering stuff. <laughs> you're remembering things. Re you're remembering some of this stuff. Remember you were telling me you didn't know? About... You were, about the army? Yeah, earlier you weren't sure how much you would remember, but you are remembering things. Oh, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we were Fort Meade. And you got specialized training there. Yes, army training. Yeah. Okay. And we got the uh, our army uniform. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We had nurses in our army uniform. Yeah. And you had. A, we went in as second lieutenants. We had to be officers because we had to ha have enlisted men under us. Oh. Do you understand what I mean? The Army's got to have officers. Yep. You can't all be enlisted men. you got to have people to give orders. Yep. How was it uh, leaving home, leaving your grandparents? Was that tough to do or were you ready to go and... Oh, I was ready to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I met the nicest women. Yeah. They oh, we were girls, not women. Sure. But we weren't just high Well, I was high school one year. Yeah. I had college, and, and then I, I stopped college, and, and, went, and that's how I got interested in nursing. I was, I was at college, and I was taking classes with the pre-nursing students mm -hmm. that were going into the army. Okay. Well, they could go. I, I don't know. They all went, and they weren't forced to go. They they could. They made up their mind themselves. They wanted yeah. to go, but they heard a lot about the army when we were at college. And I, I had one year and I quit. Oh. I went into nursing thing and I never regretted it. Did you serve with any of those women that you trained with in, in Europe? Uh, well, I did to get a certain... We were officers. Yeah. So you can't, you can't have a lot of officers. So. We got together, but we were officers, but I, yeah. I, I think I was with officers that I didn't even know. You were sent to different areas from yeah, yeah, right, where we were needed. Yeah. And then we went overseas. Then you got really close because with the, with the nurses because you were in dangerous areas with them and, sure. and, and, and took care of the army. And, when I say dangerous, bombs, that type of thing, you know. We were bombing them and they were bombing us. And uh, 
that that's dangerous, you know. Mm -hmm. And but I I had like that little German. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't help but like him, yeah. <laughs> and we we could not we were not supposed to talk to him at all. All we did we took care of him, and we said we're not mean to him. That's not us. We're not mean, but we're not kind to either. I mean, you do what you have to do, and and that's it. But you're not gonna joke and so on with them. Yeah. Do you remember? But we did a few. <laughs> But that, most of them couldn't speak English, and I couldn't speak German, so you couldn't get too friendly. Because, but a few of them, they did, and and, and I mean, <laughs> Do you remember where you embarked from, and how the trip, how your trip was overseas? Yeah, you know, you said that. I think it was in New York Harbor. New York, okay. But I'm not sure for this. That's pretty likely. Yeah. yeah, it was on the East Coast. That sounds. Yeah, yes, it was. I think that's good enough. Yeah, and they, they're not. How was the ride over? <laughs> oh, it was. Well, I, I'll tell you what. I think sometimes the crew scared the hell out of us. <laughs> They'd say there's a German sub in the area. You know, that scared the heck out of me, you know, because they were sinking ships. Yeah. And and I think, I think they were just young men, young boys. They were so, a lot of our boys. Don't forget yeah. that. Yeah. And they were saying, let's scare the nurses. Tell them. And, but I think at times there were, but yeah. we were right across us all over the ship, and they were painted white because they were medical oh, okay. ship. Sure. And they were painted white, and they had red crosses all over. And but still, if they tell you a German sub is in the way, you, you know. But we, ne we never were hit or anything. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you arrive when you got to Europe? Where Where did you land? Good night. You know, I wish I had written these things down. Okay. You forget those things. Were you in England or France? Probably England, I'm guessing. No, it was not France. Well, England, probably. It had to be England yeah. because France. That didn't come quite yet. So we, we were, they were fighting there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember what harbor. That's okay. And to. When you got yeah. there, did they issue you new uniforms and equipment, or what happened once you got there? Oh, we had our uniforms before everyone over there. We we were in the service before we went over. We joined the service, and you were. So long in the service before you had to be trained, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I know we had six weeks of what did they call it? Six weeks. Boot I can't camp. remember. Boot camp training, physical training. Well, it was that. It was that type of thing. Yeah. You were trained to be in the army. Yeah. You know, you you just go in the army. They they trained you. How to train your army <laughs> jargon, army uh, procedures, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you were trained, yeah. Then we were sent to hospitals okay. in the States, yeah. And boy, that was fun. We was in Florida for a while. Oh. <laughs> and they were training uh, airmen. You know, we didn't have a, a in World War Two. We had Navy, Air Force, Army, Air Force. You know, we didn't have one. They were training the Army down in down in Florida. Yeah. And boy, they had some cute boys there. <laughs> were you able to go to dances? Huh? Did you have dances or anything like that? Dances? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you know, my gosh. The jitterbug was very popular. Yeah. Man, could they jitterbug. <laughs> yeah. We had a, we, in the States, we had a pretty good time, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like when you first got over to Europe? What was that experience like when you went Europe, to your post? And well, we were excited. 
Yeah. We, we, la <laughs> we landed in England, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, we were excited to be in England, and things were different. And they had been in the war longer than our, we yes. had. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, we were just excited and, and taking everything in, you know. and, and but they kept busy, the Army, you know, you don't go in the Army and sit down. They kept us busy doing things all the time. Yeah. 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 But we were, ex and, uh, and the English were very nice to us, I'll tell you that. Well, but we were helping them. Sure. Yeah. But uh, we, I never got on the mainland. Okay. I only was in England. Yeah. and and. Scott went up Scotland and all that, but uh, I never was one of the nurses that went up, followed the. We we had. They need nurse. They needed hospitals in England, because yeah. they shipped them across the channel, to England, because when we first got there, you know, the whole army was in England. Yeah. Because they hadn't crossed the channel yet, ah. and and they weren't fighting England yet. Well, they we we weren't prepared, and we weren't. You can't go in with a. I don't. Anyway, we weren't ready for it. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Right. We weren't ready to to go as a big group to take over, and, and you know. Uh, Germany had control from the English Channel to Russia. Yeah. And they had a control up to the Scandinavian countries. Yeah. They didn't take them. And they were down to the Mediterranean. Africa, yeah. So that Europe was basically Germany. And that was a good army. I mean, yeah. they were very well equipped. They were very well trained. And we didn't have an easy enemy. <laughs> you remember hearing or seeing the bombs around you? At, at oh the yeah, hospital? I've seen a bomb fall. Yeah. yeah, I've seen. Yeah. Were they from airplanes or were they the rockets that the Germans? No, had? most of what we saw were flying over. Oh, okay. England. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they were bombing England because we knew the armies were there. Yeah. yeah and getting ready, you know. When did you first start seeing patients? Was that after D-Day? Pardon? When did you first start seeing patients, wounded, coming back? After D-Day, or? Oh, well, they, we had hospitals there, yeah. and we were waiting for them. And uh, when we first went over there, they were really bombing. Uh, Germany was really bom bombing England and the British Isles, and they were really they they had control from the Scandinavian countries yeah. down to the that uh, down to the Mediterranean, and uh, they didn't take. They made a mistake not taking England, yeah, because we had a place to land, and. Uh, you know, if you don't have a place to land armies, it's not, it's not easy. You have to win us, and we didn't have to. We had the British Isles. That, that we, our army, we used to say, we're sinking the British Isles, <laughs> you know. So uh, you, they, 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 they sent troops to, to the British Isles, and from there they crossed the English Channel, and started fighting in Europe, and Germany was a tough yeah. foe. And your hospital started filling up pretty fast, I suppose. Oh yeah, yeah. they weren't fancy hospitals. No, <laughs> no, but they were adequate. Yeah. But they weren't fancy. No, and and uh, we had. There were scary times when the, the, Germany was dropping bombs. Yeah. And they were trying to hit hit us all the time, and we were doing the same. And and would you 
write home to your grandparents and your mom when you were there, or did you get mail? Did you write home? Oh, 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 yeah. oh my gosh, the post office was bombarded. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we got mail all the time. Okay. Yeah. That must have been nice. Well, yes, it was to hear from a home and home to hear from us. Yeah. Because they didn't know what was happening to us, you know. No, the mail was very good. Mm -hmm. We had a good army. Yeah. They were what, excellent. What was, what was but, it? But so was Germany. Yeah. What was a typical day like for you over there? Work. Just work <laughs> nonstop and early morning? Yeah, we had times off too. Yeah. No, but we worked, yeah. No, you worked uh, when you had eight hours, and sometimes you had longer you needed to be, but not very often. We, yeah. Did you get to see any USO shows when you were there? Huh? Did you get to see any of the, like, Bob Hope USO shows? Not many, Not no, much. no. We had USO, but they weren't that good, uh, the ones we got. You didn't get, you didn't get Bob Hope, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, I, did, uh, I, I imagine the mass of the army might have seen it, but nurses, no, yeah. we didn't. Uh, um, can you tell us again about? Can you handle that phone with your husband? What? Can you tell us about how you met your husband? Oh. Could you show us the? Oh. <laughs> well, he wouldn't be too glad, happy to tell you about this. He he was a captain in the field artillery, and they were all ready and set to cross the channel, and he to out and 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 go to Europe, and they decided to have a football game. And uh, they tackled, he was running for a touchdown, it broke his leg. And it was a bad break. And I was on when he came in. <laughs> and I remember thinking, well, he's not too bad looking, but I was mad at him for doing such, I said, playing football, don't you think you were trying to win the war? You know? <laughs> but. They had time on their hands. The infantry hadn't advanced enough yeah. for the field artillery to come. And uh, of course, I was too dumb. I didn't know about that. About that. And when they, they said, when he came in, I remember, I said, what were you doing that you're playing football? We were trying to win the war and go home. And anyway, I remember thinking, he's not too bad looking. Anyway, we started dating, and he was a gentleman. Can you? Absolutely. A t he was a college graduate. He had. He was a gentleman, and is that his picture? Yeah, we're going yeah. to put it in the he, picture here. I couldn't have met a nicer man, and we were married almost 50 years. And, yeah. And so we probably should wrap up here, but... Um, at the end of the war, you went home and then you married. No, he would, he broke his leg playing football. Right. Yeah, and he had and it wouldn't heal right. Okay. They had to send him back to the states. Well, they sent him back. So yeah, and I we dated. He couldn't dance or anything because that. Yeah. And we dated, and then he went back to the states. And when I got home, he was my, at my home waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. He, and what was your husband's name again? Kenneth Goodwin. Kenneth, okay. Yeah, he was a captain. And how when you how long after you got back home? When did how long till you got married? Oh, I would say maybe <laughs> wasn't very long. Not too long. Two months, three months. And did you have children? I I, I went I went back to meet his family and so oh. on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah about two months. Two that months, would be, okay. Yeah, because. He was at my family when I came home. Okay. I didn't know it. See, he came home before I did because he was her. He had a bad fracture. Yeah. And uh, when I got home, somebody said, somebody's waiting here for you. And I said, who? And they said, Captain Goodwin. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Did you have a family then? 
Did you have yeah, kids? Yeah, I had a, a son and a daughter. Okay. And they're both here in, in this state. What's their names? Huh? What's their names? Keith and Joyce. Nice. They live here in South Dakota? Yeah, they're here. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, did you go on to continue nursing them in a nursing career? No, I did some, but not a lot, yeah. because uh, we had a we had a chance to buy a farm, oh. and it was not too far from this area, and uh, Ken wanted to do it because he was raised on a ranch, oh. and uh, so we did, and it was a very nice thing we did. Both of our kids worked on the farm. And that didn't hurt them a bit. And I worked on the farm. Yeah. I did a tractor work. And uh, you do. You know, you get you get the time you're so busy. And that was when the kids left that I did that. The kids were there. I did this cooking. But they both went to school and graduated from college. And, nice. And they, they're nice kids. Yeah, I bet. Had a boy and a girl. Yeah. Is there any last? And my, 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 my husband died. Oh, we weren't quite, we didn't reach 50 years. Okay. It was in the late 20s. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, it wouldn't be the late 20s, it would be the late 40s. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, we're late 50s. There you go. Boy, I'm, I'm really okay. out of it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, well, we should wrap up here. Do you have any last comments that you might want to say to your any grandkids or family that are watching about this? Oh, well, well I, I will say this. But I've told them that I was proud of our Army. Yeah. Now, you can't have that many men and not I have some that didn't behave. But as... A, and I'm sure the nurses do, do too. Of course, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was proud of our army. I really was yeah. when I was there. And they, I th as a whole, they behaved themselves. You can't have that many men and women yeah. without having some that had had no qualms about no, what they did. Yeah. Well, Mary, thanks for your service. Well, I don't know that. that Thank you for but your I will tell you this. Yeah. Of my Germans that I had as patients, they were nice too. Yeah. They were. I mean, I could tell they were nice. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, well, war brings out the best and the worst. Yes. They do. Mm -hmm. Okay. But. Thank you, Mary. Oh, yeah.